Hello, welcome everybody. You know what time it is. I just got back from the theater and saw the movie Deadpool and Wolverine in 3D. Um, yeah, I watched it in 3D. Heck yeah. Um, I don't know why I just did that. You can't see my face. I'm going back to faceless content. So. What did I think of the film? Um, we'll get to that, but I'm going to talk about the plot first. Um, first off, what I recommend you watch, uh, Deadpool, uh, Deadpool 2, Logan, and uh, at least a recap of Loki Season 1 and Season 2, if you can. At least Season 1. Because the core idea of Loki uh, is important. So, with that in mind, I'm going to take the plot. So, Deadpool uh, is basically um, trying to save his timeline from being erased from the TV, from a rogue TVA group uh, who's not agreeing with the other guys. And that's the whole plot of the film, mainly. Uh, if you don't know, the TVA is the Time Variance um, Authority. Uh, and they their goal is to erase um, rogue timelines, but they have to... That, but that all changed. It's complicated. I'm not going to get into that here. But yeah, that's the basic plot. Um, I'm not going to say anything more. Uh, that's going to be in the spoiler section. Um, now, what did I think of the film? That now, that is important. Personally, as a fan of these movies, um, what did I think? It was the best movie of this year. Um... I bet even even what comes out after this is not going to even ha stand a chance at how good this movie was. Um, as a huge fan of the Deadpool movies, the MCU, even though I'm a tad bit behind, um, and the X-Men franchise and all that, um, I really love this movie. Especially for the cameos. The cameos are also very important and... Something I'm talking about in the spoiler section because I don't want to give anything away quite yet. Uh, I'm in that section. I'm gonna spoil Logan, as well as um, as well as um, what's it called? As well as this movie. So spoiler section will include spoilers for uh, Logan and Deadpool and Wolverine. So uh, only the beginning is gonna be spoiled for Deadpool, but it, it spoils the end of the movie anyway. Um, if you know, you know. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's my thoughts. Uh, I don't have very much else to say on plot and thoughts. Uh, as I said, best movie of the year. Uh, sec uh, tied for best movie of the whole decade so far with um, Clerks 3. So uh, you know I love this movie. Uh, I, I highly recommend you go check it out. Um, if you want to stick around for the... Um, the bonus part, uh, I'm going to be reviewing the Deadpool fan favorite fan favorites box from Jack in the Box. Uh, go check that out, uh, and then ditch if you don't want to hear spoilers. So yeah, uh, on to that part of the video right now. Hello! Um, again, your bonus add-on for the movie review. I promised it, and I delivered. Um, of course, uh... Deadpool and Wolverine, uh, I already saw. I bet I liked it, but I don't know. You never know. Uh, this is uh, churros, uh, the chimichangas, and onion rings, and uh, curly fries. I'll just show you the box here. Um, there you go. Uh, I'm going to try one of the chimichangas. Um, Ooh, spicy. <laughs> yeah, pepper fish. These are pretty good. Um, I already know that all these other things are good, so I'm not gonna review those. Um, I didn't get too much filling in. Oh, I burned my mouth. Hey, it's really good. It's just a little too spicy for me. Uh, I'm a whip when it comes to spice. Also, I got my Deadpool uh, antenna chopper. Um, you know, this is basically point collectors at this point, but glad I got one of these. Uh, if I do go back and get another one, I'm probably going to put it on the eBay store. 
think that this thing is off centered. Um, there you go. So yeah, that's it. All right, spoilers time. Of course, the film opens up with Dead Logan and the whole. They have to go back in time, uh, go to a different time, where and find a different Wolverine. Um, that was cool. I'm glad they didn't uh, just revive Wolverine like that. Um, I thought they weren't, but I was kind of worried that they would. Uh, glad they didn't. The real highlights for me are um, the parts in the um, what is it called the the end or whatever it was I forget um, where we got to see four awesome characters all oh, five awesome characters I'm glad to see again um, the whole funny bit about how um, we see Chris Evans again uh, we ho we think it's Captain America but it's the Human Torch. That was wonderful. Uh, I love that bit so much. Um, and I didn't expect him to go all foul mouth because you picture Captain America, you know, kind of a more clean mouth kind of guy. Um, that's America's ass. I'm just kidding. Um, but you picture a more clean, clean mouth guy. And then you just hear him swear and say this random stuff. It's beautiful. Anyway. Um, and then uh, eventually towards the middle of the film we also see, of course, um, Blade, uh, Elektra, and X-23 again, the, the girl from Logan. And the most important part, and the fact that made me literally, literally go nuts in the theater. By the way, when I went to see the movie, it was just me and my grandma. Nobody else came, so I was allowed to freak out as much as I could. Um... Gambit, played by Channing Tatum. That dude has been waiting to play that role for almost 15 years and finally got his chance. So I'm happy for him and did an excellent job uh, as Gambit and did a wonderful job. I can't wait to see him in an, in an MCU movie, if that's possible, or as at least as a part of the X-Men. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the real highlight of the movie for me, personally. Um, but... Also, the ending of the film with the Deadpool Wolverine. Um, Deadpool makes a sacrifice to, you know, what's it called? To save the timeline. And, and then Wolverine j jumps in to help him. And that part made me smile. It's, the, it's him finally accepting uh, Deadpool and becoming friends and whatnot. I love that part, um, personally. Um... Of course, if you didn't know, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman are great friends. So, great to see them have that part of their friendship in the film. And you could clearly tell both of them were... Ha all the guys were having the time of their lives. And it just made me smile. Uh, one of the other highlights of the film is, I believe... Um, what's his name? Uh, the dog. Uh, that's another favorite part of the film uh, for me. And the variants on uh, Deadpool, like Lady Pool and all that. Uh, that was also a fun scene, uh, personally. <laughs> I find it funny how he forgot they regenerated. <laughs> anyway, uh, the humor was on point. The acting was on point. The emotion was on point. Everything was amazing. The time travel was amazing, even though Loki's time travel parts are <sighs> for parts. Uh, they nailed it down to a point with this movie. And I hope they make a sequel of this caliber again. Uh, the direction was great. The music was great. The acting was great. Everything was on point. And that's what made this film, in my opinion, uh, one, the best movie of the, the 2020s tied with Clerks 3. So if you haven't seen it in theaters, go see it. Um, if you, Why are you watching the spoilers? But still, go see it. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to talk about. Uh, please enjoy the movie. Um, go see it again, maybe. Uh, I'm definitely going to buy it once it hits home video. Because I want to see it again. Uh, at home uh, as many times as I can. Because that movie's so good. Anyway, uh, ta-ta. Uh, take care. Uh, in fact, I'm recording this Monday night. Tomorrow I'm going to go hunting with my grandpa. Thr um, thrifting, rather. Um, Walmart, Cadola uh, Thrift, Recycling Center, and all that. So, uh, I'm going to go test, uh, I'm going to give you a tease. Why not? Um, 
I'm gonna go test all these CDs. Um, I decided what I wanted from the slot. Um, there's like three CD lots that you guys didn't see, and one of them, um, one of them, all three of them are ready to go. Uh, I I sold a couple of the VHS and CD Brony, so hope he enjoys that stuff. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm by the time I'm posting this, I'm gonna be getting ready to go to my grandpa's house, and. Yeah, that's about it. Um, I don't know what content's coming in the future. Probably Prime Day Part 4. I still have a ton of footage left over. I at least have one or two more clips worthy. So, yep. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, Ta-ta. Take care. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Uh, comment down below if you like the movie as much. Please don't cut, spoil the film in the comments, but still... Comment down below if you like the film. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Anyway, that's all I have to say. That's all she wrote. That's all. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Alright, hello. Welcome. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, sorry for the long ramble. But if you could, please subscribe to the channel. It does help me out a lot. Um, again, we're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you could help me out on that journey, please do. I know these videos... Um, I track non-subscribers, so I'm even more so I'm trying to promote the channel at the end here. Um, especially because they're a little bit shorter as well. Uh, also, check out the eBay store, as I, I, didn't, as I mentioned in Tuesday's video. Uh, the 19th is going to be the last day. These set of uh, items are going to be on the store. After that, all that stuff's going to be uh, left over here and taken off the store. And then the stuff at my house I have left over is going to be listed on the store again so uh, if you could uh, and are interested in something I have on the eBay store buy it now if you can uh, also uh, last but not least check out patreon uh, I do the whole um, bonus videos for two dollars a month or you can do the 750 a month I send you two mystery movies plus all the exclusive video content uh, and early access and all that for you, uh, if you're interested in that, uh, all those links are down in the description. Um, so yeah, um, also thanks to VHS and CD Brony. As I said, I have a bunch of stuff I, uh, from those three CD lots I gotta go ship to him. And, uh, I gotta go to the post office tomorrow besides going thrifting with my grandpa, which I'm very excited to do. Again, sorry I'm going so fast. I'm so excited from watching this movie and going thrifting tomorrow, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, sorry for the very long uh, ramble here at the end. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, everybody.